All right, you guys, welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. So, posted that video this morning about measuring the pots and all of that. And I'm, I might still, I've already measured them and I've figured out um, kind of round about what type of pot I need to get. Um, I'm thinking I, I'm really liking the um, Pro Grow or Grow Pro um, container pots. And anyways, I found a, provider um for online that they're like 48 cents or something like that a, a pot um and so um we'll see i might be able to these ones at the store generally are like a dollar something a piece so i'm thinking i might go ahead and get like a bunch of those um from the dealer online and it might actually i haven't checked to see how much the shipping would be but um I think 48 cents is a really great deal. I think it was like $9 something for like 20 of them. And I do know that I'm going to need a few small pots like that for the jackfruit trees that I have in the house to be potted into later on in this, later on this spring. And then, um, I might have a few other things. I'm thinking about starting the rest of my, um, uh, those trees that you, um, that like the evergreen type trees, I'm thinking about planting the rest of those into containers like that too. So I just have to figure out how many seeds I have and then um, put them in pots and grow them, start them like, you know, a few in a, in a container at a time until I see which ones actually germinate, which ones actually grow. So I'm not like wasting a ton of pot space and dirt and that sort of thing. And so anyways, I'll show you what I've been doing this afternoon so far. And I still got a little bit of work to do clearly, but, um, I'm rearranging all my, my container pots and, and that sort of thing. So I'll show you what I've done really quick. So, um, the apricot trees that I had, uh, I had the one big one in this one, and then I have the small one still in this one right now. Um, uh, what I'm doing is I'm teasing out um, and checking the root balls and the root balls looked great they weren't even winding up on themselves yet and they'd been in this pot for almost um, little over a year and so those are they were looking really good so I'm thinking I might be able to get away with um, two years possibly of growth before I really have to like check them again so what I did was and I'll show you over here um, I got my green pot that I had on the other side. I didn't need to even out the dirt just a little bit. It's a little bit high on this side. Um, but this is the big apricot and I have it on the end. And then all the apricots are gonna be in the green containers. And I only filled them up to the little ridge that's right here with dirt and it's perfect because that's about the height where the, um, the, top, the top of the soil for the apricot tree was at in the little pot that it was in before so I'm doing that now um, this uh, European cherry plum is gonna go in this purple pot here and then this one this apricot the small one's gonna go in the other uh, green pot and I'll show you that here in a second um, and then what I'm planning on doing is looking to see how many of these terracotta colored pots I have um, available when I'm all done, said and done with all of this um, organizing, but it's looking like the majority of the trees that I just bought are going to be going into the purple pots because these will be ones that I move with us when we move and it'll be a lot easier for um, transportation in a little bit smaller pot. And I, that's the reason why I also made the soil level, um, a little bit shallower and I didn't fill the pot completely full in the green pots cause I don't want them to be overly heavy. So, um, moving on here. Um, so yeah, so you kind of see what I'm doing here. I've got the Himalayan pine trees put into the smaller, um, containers. I think I'm going to remove some of the dirt out of this one. I might still give this one to the people at our church, this one on this side I get in here so you can see better. Um, it had some damage to it. Um, I don't know how well it's going to come out of its funk, but, um, I may or may not give it to them because I really don't want to give them a messed up tree. But this one is excellent and doing great. So um, there's that. And when I was changing it out, oh my gosh, the smell was amazing. Um, the Himalayan pine trees have a beautiful pine scent. It's so beautiful. So anyway, so apple trees, the small ones that I grew from seed, will be going into these terracotta pots. So I've got another terracotta pot um, in my greenhouse so it's looking like maybe I might have enough 
for them all to be in the um the terracotta um the ones I grew from seed, except for this one right here, the one that has the red um, leaves on it. I'm going to leave it in a purple container. And I'm also going to be um, moving the berries out of the pots of the trees and moving them into probably these gray um, containers. Um, the only thing I don't like about the gray containers is that they um, tend to fall over in storms so I'd have to brace my berry bushes up along this fence over here which I'm totally okay with so um, there's that so um, this Himalayan pine tree um, I'm thinking I'm going to be putting it into um, possibly this container I'm not exactly sure I haven't decided yet whether or not this is going to go into into a purple pot or if it's going to go into this brown pot but the apricots are all going in these so I've already got one of the bare root um, trees apricot trees put into um, this green pot down here on the end and it came with all the sawdust in there so I just spread it along the top and I had in this container it was sitting right here and it had all the leaves on it and I have asparagus pr planted around around the edge and I had a soda can or a soda, one of those soda bottles like cut off the top and I put it in the middle um, last uh, fall and I made sure to leave enough space to be able to um, plant a tree into the pot this year and it worked out perfectly because there was just plenty plenty enough room for it to just go right in the middle with the root ball that it came with I didn't realize how much they really hack off the the main roots on the trees that you buy from the store and here I was worried about my root systems on my trees over here and I'm seeing how they have hacked off the roots like big thick roots you guys I'm not talking like little tiny roots from the box stores and so um, I know that roots will grow back so now I'm seeing how they do it you know commercially for selling in box stores and I was I was a little bit sad to see how much of the roots were whacked off and I mean we're talking like a substantial thick roots so um, so there's that but there's enough roots for it to take off again so now I feel more confident with pruning my own root systems to keep my plants from like girdling themselves so there's that you guys so that's what I'm doing um, I will know more about what I need um, in regards to containers um, after I get all of these um, trees into the purple pots and everything situated um, I think I have enough small containers in my garden shed that um, I can at least temporarily have my dormant um, berry bushes planted into something smaller until like say next month and um, I will keep them up along the edge of the house over here. I'll put them up over here. And um, and then, yeah, so everything's doing great. I'm gonna be looking at my seeds here very soon. Um, this, before the end of January, um, and possibly getting some things um, started in the greenhouse. Um, this is really not a great spot this time of year for the greenhouse. You guys, I really, I think I need two of these. I think I need one right here and then one right here. Seriously, because um, I I need one that gets a little bit more sun and one that's a little bit more protected over here. Uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> but I'll be moving the strawberries out because there's not enough insects for pollination for the strawberries inside, and I was thinking about that. So anyways, you guys, thanks again for coming along with me today. Comment, like, and subscribe. Click that bell button. And as always, have a wonderful day. And God bless you all again today. Bye.